Gravity. Something so simple as an apple falling from the tree made Sir Isaac Newton question why the apple fell straight down rather than moving sideways or upwards. In 1687, this aha moment led Newton to the discovery of gravity, the very thing that keeps us from floating into space. First off, what is gravity? Gravity is a force that constantly pulls things together. Every object has gravity. However, the bigger the size of the object, the stronger the gravitational pull will be. As materials get pulled together and ultimately collide, they will create things such as stars and planets. In our case, since the sun is the largest object in our solar system and has the most mass, the sun will have the strongest gravitational pull, keeping all planets in orbit. However, did you know that the moon also has a gravitational pull on Earth, which is why we have tides? Wait, how is it that the moon has a pull on Earth if it's smaller? Well, distance also affects the strength of gravity. The farther objects are from each other, the weaker their gravitational pull becomes, regardless of size. For example, the moon is around 238,900 miles away compared to Venus, the closest planet to Earth, which is 26.834 million miles away. The moon's proximity causes it to have a stronger gravitational pull on Earth. But how exactly are we affected by gravity? The mass on Earth combined with the mass of our body gives us our weight. The more mass there is on a planet, the heavier you would be, meaning that you would be a lot heavier on Jupiter than you would be on Mercury. Another way that we are affected by gravity is that gravity keeps everything organized. The weight on Earth keeps the planets on a sideways motion. If it didn't move that way, we would probably fly off into deep space. Or if I were to let go, I would fly off to who knows where. This would happen to all the planets without the sun's gravitational pull. The discovery of gravity and the gravitational pull of objects, mainly in planets, has kept our galaxy and our lives in order rather than a crazy disarray. Without it, we would all be floating around lost in space.